Hi there, welcome back to Tuesdays with Corey. I'm here with another edition, and I'm going to tell you about a few really cool announcements that we've got. So first, let me start with one, and I'm going to draw my obligatory virtual machine. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so as part of this virtual machine, you may have an OS disk. Okay, and so your OS disk here. Um, and then you may have, let's say, a couple data disks, right? Um, and so this could be Linux, it could be Windows. You know, if this is Windows, it's your C drive typically. And oops, sorry, let me draw that a little bit better. Your C drive over here. And then this may be sort of, you know, F or uh, G, whatever it may be. And so these data disks, and of course, all of this is sitting in storage. Um, and so first announcement, pretty simple, but really exciting. This used to be limited to less than 127 gigabytes. And each one of these was one terabyte, okay? And so what we've done is we've actually torn that, torn that down. Um, and so now the limit on that one is one terabyte as well. So all of the disks that you attach, whether they're OS or data disks, are one terabyte limits. So let me just start with that. That's kind of a quick one, but a really good one. It makes it a lot easier if you're moving things from on-prem into the cloud. Some of the limitations that you may previously hit with that with 127 gig, uh, you won't hit anymore. The other really exciting announcement was integration with Azure Backup into virtual machines. And so this is super cool. Um, if you're familiar with sort of Azure Backup, um, it's got a lot of really exciting things uh, uh, built into it. So it uh, allows you to do sort of retention control on backups. Um, and it allows you to control the frequency you want to take on backup. So it's got a really, uh, a really nice experience in the portal. You can go in and say, I want to do a backup, let's say, every day or every hour, whatever it may be. And then you can say, and I want to keep them for a week or I want to keep them for a day. And so you can control the retention and the frequency that you take uh, for each one of these. And so it's a really great service. Today it was really geared towards, uh, from an on-prem deployment of a VM, the ability to do backups into the cloud. Let me just. There, that now helps. The ability to take a backup into the, sorry, the cloud, Azure. And so you can take backups from on-prem into, uh, into the cloud-based storage, really cheap because it uses Azure storage. And so it allows you to take those, those backups and, and sort of control, of course, retention and frequency. What we've announced is the ability to do that with VMs running in Azure. So this is a backup service for your VMs running in Azure. Um, and you can apply the same retention and frequency controls uh, that you uh, would have applied to an on-premise machine. Uh, you can now apply into a machine, run machine running in Azure. And so you can do restores based on this, um, all sorts of power uh, and configuration as part of this. So you know, uh, making mistakes, or you, you accidentally copied something wrong, or you deleted your SQL database, or what have you. Uh, uh, you know, you screwed up your Mongo database. Um, uh, you can go in and you can actually uh, restore that from a backup you took the previous day and bring it right back in. Um, and so it's really great. You can also manage all of your backups from on-prem and from the cloud in the same place. So they'll all be listed here. Um, and so it allows you to have this sort of single backup experience for everything that you've got running. And so you may say to me, great, Corey, that's cool, but gosh, I've got three disks here, right? And so if the writes are happening on each one of these, Gosh, want to get out of sync if you're just copying the disks around? Like, isn't that a problem? Well, I'm glad you asked that, Rick, uh, because what we actually have as part of this is using, again, our extension model. We put a little guy down on this box that when you say, I want to do a backup, and you go and the backup says, hey, it's 12 o'clock noon, time to do a backup, uh, it'll call into this extension. This extension will actually acquiesce the disks. And so it would say, hey, freeze. Freeze this for a second while I take this backup. And so make sure that you get a consistent backup so that you can trust the quality of that backup while it's being taken. And so it's, again, bringing together the power of our extension solution with uh, an ex a service that's built as part of the hybrid story that Azure offers um, and allows you to create those backups with ease uh, whenever you want to and keep them as long as you want. And all of that at a very low price, and now I feel like a salesman, at a very low price of just $5 a month. So each VM comes at $5 a month to do this, to, to turn on this backup service, uh, which is super cool. Uh, and so if you're running, you know, depending on the sizes, uh, it, you're, typically your VM is going to cost more than that. And so the $5 a month is uh, a steal, if you ask me. Uh, but, you know, that's, uh, you didn't ask me, or maybe you did. But hopefully this was helpful. Continue to ask me questions, what you want to talk about, what you want to hear about. I'll keep talking about announcements otherwise, uh, which you may or may not enjoy. So please ask me questions, and we'll uh, spend some time on it. So thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed this Tuesday, and uh, see you next week.
I'm and, testing. Is and, it is it a still shot? It's it's still it's still good, man. It's a still shot. You got it. How about uh, you do the gold clap? Nice. Really good. Go now. All right.